Carbon farming projects allow landowners to earn money for projects that cut down the amount of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the air. In the Kimberley, you can cut down the amount of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases by growing more trees. Trees store carbon dioxide by keeping it in their leaves, fruit and branches. Or you can earn money by cutting down greenhouse gas emissions on the land. Greenhouse gas emissions happens when something like a car uses fuel or there's a wild bushfire. To do an offset project on your land, you need to decide what type of project you want to do. The project must follow a methodology, which means a set of rules. The set of rules are approved by government. The rules cover how you do your project, how you work out how much less carbon goes into the air, or how much more carbon is being stored in plants or the soil. You also need to decide whether it's worth doing a project because it can cost money to set it up. There are many different types of offset projects that can be done, but many of these projects and their rules don't suit the Kimberley region. At the moment, the main type of project that you can do in the Kimberley is called the Savannah Burning 1000mm methodology. It's a project that follows a set of rules for burning the bush in areas that get lots of rain. Places in the very north of Australia who get over a thousand millimetres of rain would be suited to this project. Another project that will be ready for 2015 is the Savannah Burning 600mm methodology. This type of project follows the rules for burning the bush in areas that don't get as much rain. Places in the southern, eastern and western parts of the Kimberley that get 600 to 1000 millimetres of rain would be suited to this project when it gets going. These burning projects are about using the right way to manage country and stop big wildfires. 2015 will also see the introduction of the Savannah sequestration set of rules. Sequestration means to store, like when a plant takes carbon dioxide out of the air and keeps it in its leaves and fruits. This project is about how much healthier the bush becomes from better fire management. It looks at how much more carbon dioxide can be stored in healthy bushland that is managed with right way fire. Other offset projects that are being looked at for the Kimberley region are the Savannah Enrichment set of rules. This looks at storing carbon in trees, like the Gubbins tree. Most of the tree planting projects in other parts of Australia won't really work in the Kimberley because this region isn't good for big farming. But Gubbins trees may work by planting smaller amounts where we already have lots of other trees growing. This project would be good because it means we'll get Gubbins fruit too. So it's not just about the money you can earn from offset projects, but also about making the country healthy, making our lives better and giving our communities better results. There's an offset project that could apply in some parts of the Kimberley called human-induced revegetation. This just means letting plants and seeds naturally regrow by removing cattle from the land or managing the timing on how long cattle graze. Also managing the wild animals and stopping the land from being cleared of the natural regrowth. There are some other projects that include planting trees on land that was once used for grazing. It may be possible to do these projects in some parts of the Kimberley, but it can cost a lot of money to get started. And will take some time before you can earn money, so this type of project needs to be thought about carefully. To earn money from a carbon farming project, you need to earn carbon credits, which the government gives you in return for the amount of carbon you store or the amount of greenhouse gases you stop going into the air. You can trade these carbon credits with big companies and government for money, but you do need to follow the rules that government have set for your project. The Kimberley Land Council can help you with more information on the different carbon offset projects and how they work.